friends welcome to vlogmas day seven wow a week i can't believe it we have actually made it through a whole week no makeup today fresh faced last night was fun but it was uh i think i had two three cocktails and a small glass of wine so my body is uh making me pay for it today i'm just feeling really tired and sluggish which is you know I don't recover like I used to when I was in my 20s. Anyway, so it is time for the coffee of the day. And I need to put my little mince pie in the oven too. I think um, a little bit later on today, I'll be making some brunch for us. I want waffles. I want something comforting. But I'm also going to be doing cleanup today. Um, and I've got to edit tomorrow's video. I've got a pretty busy day ahead, even though I'm going to try and take it as easy as possible and just get caught up with things like um, I need to do some content planning because I miss doing actual styling content. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to work that into Vlogmas. I had intended on working it into Vlogmas all along. I just now need to figure out what videos I'm going to be doing this week as part of that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's pick out the coffee or let's find the coffee of the day and let's get that going at least. Okay, we are on day seven. It's interesting. I think day 12 fell. We have an espresso today. Ooh, it's a dark one. I kind of need a nice strong coffee. Okay, so this is... Um, I think it's Il Cafe, and it is a level 11. So yes, very, very strong, which is okay. Uh, I'm ready for a nice strong coffee, but I'm gonna make it a latte. you guys we actually are gonna have some sunshine today oh my gosh I think it's been over a week since we've seen sunshine it's gonna be a beautiful day but cold my coffee it came out quite pale it's very milky I think I used too much milk but it is delicious my fabulous little latte I added a couple pumps of vanilla syrup my favorite syrup are the Monin syrups. I like them way better than the other ones. I can't remember what they're called, Tafari or something like that. The Monin syrups are way, way better. It's a delicious coffee. I'm going to enjoy it with my mince pie. And uh, I will check in with you guys again later. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the wine a little early today. Only because I need to run upstairs and get some work done. So that will tell me what I need to pull for dinner tonight more or less because we are behind by one bottle so let's go ahead and go to day number seven All right. ah good we've got another white so we are going to be having some sort of chicken dish today and this is a coke de ron but it's a La Pluma Coque de Rhone. Well, I don't know what's going on here, but we have this Coque de Rhone by La Pluma, which the Sauvignon Blanc is La Pluma, and then we also had the Vermentino that was La Pluma. So the only Coque de Rhone that we have in here is this one in the Passport Collection. This is supposed to be from France, um, but I've got this one by La Pluma, so I don't know if they made a substitution or what, but I cannot find in this little booklet another La Pluma wine in here, and I can't find another Cote de Rhone either. So, um, I'll have to let you know what I taste when I taste it, but I'm going to pop this in the fridge, and it will be consumed at dinner tonight. Cote de Rhone is not one of my favorites, but we're going to try it anyway. All right. So that is the wine for the day. Okay, I'm up in my room 
and it's going to be a big admin day for me today. I am going to work actually first and foremost on scheduling next week. I really feel the need to get that off of my mind because it's been preying on my mind since yesterday. Saturdays normally tend to be my scheduling days, but it was a busy day yesterday. So, um, I decided not to make waffles. They are fairly, fairly time consuming. So I'll make waffles sometime during the week. We have got so much waffle mix that waffles are going to be a staple of my diet for a bit. Speaking of diet, um, I really, really need to get my eating habits back on track ever since before Thanksgiving. My eating has been pretty bad. Uh, not the most beneficial for me, let's just say. So I have not been tracking my intermittent fasting, have not even been following any kind of intermittent fasting for the last week and a half. Uh, actually, let's make that for the last two weeks. And um, I really need to get back on track with that, especially because I've got a physical coming up on the 16th. And I also need to get back to um, getting on the bike. I did get on the bike once last week. We are going to be having a chicken dish which is good. Um, I need to lay off the red meat a little bit. I want to get us to eating a little bit earlier in the day. Generally, we're not eating until like 8.30 at night. And that's a little bit too late considering that we go to bed at 11.30 or so. It disrupts both of our sleep. So I am going to try and get us to an earlier eating schedule. It will make intermittent fasting so much easier. Uh, I need to restart at a 12-12 interval. Uh, 12 hours eating, 12 hours not. My goal is to get to a 14-10. I don't know if I will ever be able to consistently be at a 16 hour um, fasting window with an eight hour eating window. I, it just doesn't fit my lifestyle very well. So I might be able to do that maybe once or twice a week, um, which any time you can, it's beneficial. So that's the plan at any rate. So over the rest of the month of December, trying to stick to intermittent fasting, trying to stay away from um, sugary things, my mince pies being the exception to the rule. Um, I only have five left, so that's a good thing. But uh, later on this month, I will be baking up some goodies for my neighbors and for um, my hairstylist and my nail technician. So um, there are sweets to come, but if I can manage to control that for myself, it'll be good. Uh, I know that my neighbors tend to also give us treats. So those will be coffee treats once the mince pies are done. And then of course there's Christmas Day. Christmas Day, it's uh, it's like Thanksgiving Day. It's a, a full-on cheat day because we do tamales and oh, they're so good. We also do a sweet of some sort. I either make cinnamon rolls, but this year I think I'm going to buy donuts from our favorite donut place to make life easier for everyone, I think, or at least for me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting way, way, way ahead of myself. As for today, I am going to be working on scheduling. Uh, I do need to get my makeup brushes cleaned. Um, so I'm going to be working on that as well as laundry. You can see the pile of laundry behind me and you probably saw it in the mirrors when I was doing my outfit of the day, which is embarrassing but at least nothing indecent was on was on the surface. So I've got to get the laundry finished and folded and put away. So that's also on the agenda as well as cleaning the kitchen. It's getting a little out of hand again. So a uh, busy day, but I'm gonna start off with scheduling. Oh, and I've got to edit. I've got to edit tomorrow's vlog. So um, very, very busy day. I'm gonna set you guys down for now. I am going to be back later and do a quick check-in. So see you later. So as I was getting started with scheduling, I realized that I got my cloth and paper subscription box last week. And yesterday I received a delivery from Monica Benader. I bought some stuff from her Black Friday sale, just a couple of things. And I have to share them with you guys because I know I've said this before, but if you're new, I am up leveling my jewelry collection. The Black Friday sales for Monica Venator was were a little bit too hard to resist. So let me show you what I got. So I know I don't always show my cloth and paper subscription boxes when I get them, but this time around was a good one. And I just wanted to share with you some of what I got. Cloth and paper is pretty awesome. Um, they are a planner and stationery company and I subscribe to their monthly box and they send some really cool stationery and calendar stickers, accessories, things like that. So, like I said, this month was really, really good. 
The first thing that I wanted to mention are the semicircle sticker sticker notes. And these are great for like tabbing a page or highlighting an area or even just writing something on it and noting it in your calendar. I love the fact that she came out with the semicircles. I think that's really cool. And this particular set has got both the opaque and transparent page flags. And I really, really love the transparent page flags because you can put them over something and see what's underneath it coming through. So really excited to try these out. She always has a little packet of cards and journaling prompts and things like that. And this month she included a couple that I am going to note because I really have to clamp down on my morning and my evening routines. And so we have a morning and evening routine card where you write out the time and the habit for your two routines. So I need to iron those out with the new year. I'm always thinking about where my opportunities are to improve, how I can make things better for myself, how I can be more organized, things like that. And these are gonna help to kind of help me to put down on paper what my morning routine looks like because right now my morning routine is fairly non-existent and I used to have a pretty solid morning routine and it's just kind of deteriorated over the last few months. So that will help me to get it back, you know, uh, get myself back on track with that. The biggest and most amazing thing that came in this month's calendar is something that I use a lot. I don't have the space in my regular calendar to note everything that I'm going to be doing on Instagram and Pinterest and like to know it. And so this has actually served as, you know, being that it helps me to track when we've got promotional periods and things like that. And what I want to do on stories and what I want to do on Instagram. I don't always follow it, but lately because I am pivoting to trying to engage more on Instagram. This has actually come in very, very handy again because at the early part of the year, I was also using it pretty consistently for that. So this year she sent another one. And so, and by she, I mean Ashley, who is the owner and CEO of Cloth and Paper, but they sent a, they sent a new one and for 2022 and it's the exact same format it's a weekly format with a monthly calendar where i can jot everything down that i need to do for instagram and pinterest and like to know it and so we've got the monthly calendar and then we've got the you know week at a glance spreads so really very very happy that they sent that they sent some planner stickers which are awesome um i'll use them in either of my planners um and we've got some just stickers that say like important and to do and, um, you know, uh, appointment, you know, things like that. And then we've got some drop stickers and we've got some icon stickers. So that's pretty cool. And then they always send us dashboards for our regular planners. I have an A5 planner. And so these dashboards, I may change them out now that we are um, in a new year and I'm getting ready to start my new calendar. So that's cool. Then they sent a pocket folder um, for the spiral planner that we have, which is awesome because I can put stickers in there and store them in the planner. And that's it. That was it for my cloth and paper subscription box. I am really excited that they sent me that planner. I didn't know what I was going to do about my content calendar for next year, but they got me. Now for the really, really fun stuff though, and that is my Monica Vinader order. Ooh, I really like how they packaged it. That's really nice. I ordered a couple of things. I ordered a pair of earrings and I ordered a necklace. So let's start out with the earrings. This box is so beautiful. I love the fact that it pulls out. Wow, they've improved on their packaging. I don't remember my bracelet coming in packaging like this. And then of course you've got the protective little sleeve and it's got one pocket on either side and in each pocket you have an earring. It is this beautiful pair of pearl earrings. I've wanted them for a really long time. I love wearing pearls. Um, I think pearls are beautiful. They're classic and timeless and they, you know, they make a statement, but, and you don't really have to do a whole lot. And so um, I saw these last year and I was like, I need to have them. And they're so simple, you know, they're such a simple earring and yet they're such a statement. So let me try them on. And this is gold vermeil over, I think it's vermeil, um, over 
silver and what I have found about Monica Vinander jewelry though is that it, the plating doesn't go away. It's very, very durable and they are really, really good quality and I love, love, love them. I think that they are stunning. I do have that one Monica Vinander bracelet. It's in a rose gold, um, but it's really, really good quality and I love it. And um, it really makes me feel special. And these earrings also make me feel very special. So you will start seeing me wearing these a lot in the days ahead. <laughs> because you know how I get obsessed about a certain piece of jewelry and I wear it uh, all the time. Then they were having, at the time, they were having a 50% off flash sale. And both of these were in the flash sale. So I got them for 50% off each. And um, I have that medallion necklace from Amazon that you guys have seen me wear again and again and again. It's starting to lose its gold plating because I've worn it so much and I tend to wear it with the medallion to the back. I just like the paper clip chain. And because I have worn it so much, I decided that it was time to invest in something similar with a more up level jewelry maker. So I saw this on the Monica Vendor site and I was like, yep, that's the one. And this is an 18 inch, which means that it's going to fit me a little sl snug around my neck. But I have ordered a couple of extenders from Amazon and that will help to make these a little bit bigger. As you can see, this is almost like a choker, choker length on me um, at 18 inches. And that's fine. You know, I don't mind wearing extenders. I actually um, got myself an extender from Gor Goryana Jewelry. And Goryana is actually a really good jewelry brand as well. I really do like Goryana. I think that their jewelry is really, really pretty and good quality. And I figured an extender um, would be okay, you know, would be of good quality coming from them. And it is a three inch extender. So I got two of them, one for my Leo necklace and one for this one. And that one should come to me on Wednesday. Those are the two things that I got from Monica Vinander. I just wanted to share them with you. You guys will see them on my channel. Um, in the next week or so, you'll be, I'll be wearing them more. I, I just wanted to share the unboxing with you guys. And I love these boxes. I think they're stunning. They're great for storage of the pieces. My battery light is flashing, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I will talk with you again a little bit later on this afternoon. Okay, so I got so caught up in what I was doing. I am going to make lunch. I'm making us some tuna. We're going to have it on crackers because we don't have any bread. But I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make tuna. And you know, I, when I make my tuna, I love adding flavor to it. So I add onion powder to my tuna and a teensy bit of salt and lots of pepper, along with some mayo and some hard boiled eggs because um, the yolks of the eggs make the, the uh, tuna really nice and creamy. So we're gonna go ahead and make some tuna now. girl okay well we had a little hiccup in the power thankfully we have a generator so we still have power and heat and refrigerators working oven works stove works all of it works thankfully Angie was brilliant and insisted that we get a full house gas run like off of our gas line generator kudos to you babe another great decision because I hate being out of power especially during the winter it just gets cold and and you get miserable and you know it feels like we're entering the zombie apocalypse because there's no internet and you have to use your phone for everything and oh my god that's the worst part of it is not having internet but 
to celebrate our little power outage, I'm going to have a glass of wine. Um, yeah, you know everything that I said about healthy eating a little earlier? Well, my laziness has forced all those plans to go out the window. We will begin conscious eating tomorrow, although fasting does begin tonight. I will be fasting tonight. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm going to get dinner on here in just a few minutes so that we can be, have eaten at a reasonable hour. I would like to get my eating done before 7.30 if at all possible. So I'm going to pour that first glass of wine. Honey, did you want any? Or? Uh, no, that's okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to pour the Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, I actually have a chicken recipe that calls for wine and I'm going to use the Cote de Ron tomorrow when I make that recipe. Um, unless we get a red, then it'll be steak. We'll finish up the wine. So this is the La Pluma Sauvignon Blanc. I think it has uh, notes of like smoky grapefruit and something. Oh, it's so beautiful and pale. What I love about a Sauvignon Blanc. Chardonnay is my favorite white wine, but a Sauvignon Blanc is also really pretty nice. So here we go. I can definitely pick up the the um, citrus. Yep, I can smell the grapefruit. Mmm. Oh, yes, that's lovely. That is very good. This is the kind of white wine I think that I can drink on my own, you know, without any um, without any food. I've got a disgruntled customer at the bar. I told you the bar is closed. Are you upset because I'm not sharing my wine with you? Or, okay, what is the right thing to do? Obviously, I'm not doing it. What is the right thing to do? Oh, you want to play with your little toy that's hanging off the chair. Is that so? You are such a clever little girl. That is exactly what she wants. Yep, she's going to the toy. This is what I love about Siamese cats, but at the same time, it is a little infuriating because they are too clever sometimes for my own good. We're gonna have a little playtime with the kid here in just a minute. What is for dinner? Well, we've decided to go completely sinful. I have got some tater tots and we have leftover chili that needs to get eaten. So we are going to make chili cheese tater tots for dinner and share them. It's gonna be fabulous. But again, I will be fasting tonight. At least the clean eating begins tomorrow. So let me go ahead and get started on dinner. All right, here it is. It's gonna, I'm gonna pop it in the oven for a moment with the residual heat, allow it to melt the cheese, and we are going to dive in. And here is the finished product, ready to nibble on. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. <coughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right, well, um, I have pretty much called the day. I am tired and um, we are still running on generator power. Not sure exactly what happened, but thankfully we have power. But anywho, I tried that Sauvignon Blanc and it was fantastic and it tasted so good with those tater tots. I know it's pub food or bar food, but man, it was good. Of course, it's the last of the bar food, but I did use up the last of my chili. Oh, and I wanted to say, I'm really sorry that there wasn't a whole lot that happened today. It was a pretty chill day and I'm tired from a week of vlogging. And so I kind of took it easy and relaxed a bit today. And I know that in editing yesterday's footage, there's not a whole lot. And I'm, I just feel like I'm falling short a little bit, but 
you know what, it is what it is, and I guess I'm just going to roll with it, you know, and post anyway. So with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching and spending a few minutes of your day with me. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also hit that notification bell so, don't, so that you don't miss future vlogs. And uh, I will talk with you guys again tomorrow. Bye.